we record? We're recording. Oh, it's good, right. Keep this jacket on because it's got a pocket where I can put this microphone. Bullshit. Right then. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I recorded shitloads of video and it was just, I say shitloads, it was about half an hour, half an hour. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today, I'll just put that in there. Uh, yeah, we're going to crack on with this. Didn't I undo that? I did undo that, didn't I? So that was the left-handed thread. In the bin. Left-handed thread on this motherfucker. And underneath here, once we get it undone, there we go. What we've got in here, let's see if I can, without trapping anything. What is there in here that I can prop it against? End of the crank? Yeah, fuck it. There we go. So, hello, Jesus. So in here you got a thread, and I've got a set of, um, oh, 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 jump ahead, fucking hell, right, let's just move you back slightly. So, I came in after school one day, and I was like, right, one thing I do want to focus on is this. So this is the water pump housing, and as you can see, she's broken, but she's cracked right down into the root here. This is actually part of the pipe, then it's got a step. Looks like shit. So I wanted to basically have a look how bad this was. You know, this was stuck on here. Let's see how bad that was. And uh, look if I have to get a replacement. We're also going, I'm going to buy a replacement just in case, but we're going to try and repair that. Um, yeah, so we'll get to that. Anyway, as I was doing that, that's our first broken bolt. It's quite a small one, actually. It's like a little diddy one. It just... They can see the state of it. She just fucking shit the bed. The other ones, similar kind of state, not as bad on the threads especially. But this is soaked right into the thread, so she's fucking kaput and done. But our pump still works. To ro well, rotates at least, let's put it that way. And there's loads of shit in here. Shells, bits of snail, bit of all sorts. Any road, let's get this flywheel off. It's a bit dark. Can we sort that out? Of course we can. Oh, do you know what? Let me just put that in the bin, right? Because that's doing my fucking nutting. I say bin. It's going there. Because <laughs> I need it, unfortunately. Yes! There we go. Is that what oh, fucking hell? That's that's so much better. It's ridiculous. And I wish I had somewhere to keep my fucking microphone job. At any road, let's stop fucking whinging. So you can see rats and stuff have been at this. A lot of the times, the chew. A lot of times, they chew this shit up to um, make bedding and stuff. Oh, it's in their way. If they want to make a passage through somewhere, and the wires in their way. They all go, ah, get out of my fucking face wire. Anyway, what size is that? Because it looks like a funky one. I, had to, I, bought, I bought this cheap as fuck off eBay. It's like 12 quid or something. And it's going to be shit as fuck. And actually, when I move into a garage, we'll make a set, a really good set. But out of all the fucking... Um, other way... Out of all the pullers I have, I don't have this one. So it's a 22 by 1.5. On there, like so. Oh, what? Is it not long enough? Motherfuckers. It's alright, it comes with a kit of other threads. Which is nice. That isn't big enough, is it? Of course it's fucking not. So, it's a fine thread as well. What size is that? And is that longer? 
Well, that's no longer. It's the same size fucking bolt. Jesus tits. Actually, what does this push off? It would have done it. If we could just get deep enough. Well, we'll have to put some in between. Uh, what we're going to put in between... It's a shame, because these are all just too short. That's fucking typical, isn't it? <laughs> so this is a fucking fine pitch thread again. 12 by 1 by the look of it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, now does my thing fit this? So I'll get my other... Let me get my other stuff out. Disassembly. Uh, that one. That one. That one. Oh, I'm not getting all in. Anyway, I've got enough. So, yeah, I've got... Look, fucking no. So I've got quite a few similar kind of things. These are just a selection of, that's a 26, you see. So that one's too big. That one's too small. That one's too big. Yeah, and then I've got one of these fucking jobbies, which a lot of people have. That's got everything on it. And what it doesn't have is a 22 coarse pitch. That's a 22, but it's not a coarse pitch, that's a fine pitch. However, are one of these long enough? And is that a left-handed thread? you got to be fucking shitting me. It's just too big. That's what she said. Right, what size is this one? That's the correct pitch. Is it longer? It is longer, just. So we'll use the bolt out of this one. You can't use the actual bolt because that's an M10. You want to push against... You want to push against the end of the crank. So, get rid of the bolt it came with. This does thread in here, doesn't it? Let's just make sure. Yeah. So, to make it clear, what we're trying to do here is when we thread this in, we're gripping the flywheel, right? This bottoms out like that, and that's gripping the flywheel. When we put this in, we're hoping that it can basically go like this. It's like doing this and going, eh, on the inside of the crank. Now, a lot of you might scream, why do you get one of your pullers, like that, them pullers you've been showing us and stuff. The way the angle is, is it grabs there, just doesn't grab here. I need the bigger ones, and I've got one big one, and it's a two-sided, one big, big one. It's a two-sided one. But the thing is, this is radius, so it won't grab it. So it's just a knob. Basically, you use these. If you've got a massive big ball bearing, which is what we might have to do, Right, that is bottoming out. Good. That is bottoming out. Thank God for that. So, we get a 8, it's a 19, it'd be a 19, won't it? Dripping. And it was trying to get this flywheel off. So, because she's been, Master Zoom, because she's been sat outside, exposed, you can see the state of this thing. She is proper, 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 proper on there. Um, so, first, I've got a, 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 a one of them things, a flywheel tool that fits this thread, he says. There we go. And um, while I'm talking, I'll undo this nut because she mullered it slightly, tried to get it out. Any road. So what happened was uh, I used, just trying to force it off, she was having fucking none of it. Like, absolutely none of it. She was being a complete cunt. Um... Uh, tried a bit of uh, extreme aggression, but trying my hardest not to damage um, the flywheel whatsoever. Uh, so not hitting it with a hammer or anything shit like that. I then heated just the inside of the crank nose, trying to separate this taper. That's a 
I do localized heat. It is not the magnetic attraction. I've heard that loads of times. It, you've got to overcome the force of the magnet. Smash your magnets, chip them off, and then still try and get it off. No, no, it's the taper. Um, it is not the keyway. That would only stop rotation anyway if it was that, but it's not that either. Right, so, um, so then what I did is, the problem was, is it wasn't letting go, and I no immediately noticed this, is because inside the bottom of the crank uh, inside the end of it was the crank for this thread that goes in there it's quite a broad um looks like a 10 maybe even 20 that's a 10 millimeter it's quite a broad sucker and um yeah she doesn't want to she doesn't want to go so i was like well if you're going to be like that uh, <laughs> be like that now i'm trying to get one of the assorted pullers that i've got on here the problem is is twofold it's number one is this is concave and it's quite a long distance so you try and grab it it just says fucking no and the other problem is is um it, even the nose a small enough nose to get in there usually because there's fuck all there basically there's just the hole then sh and immediately a chamfer so what i did is i covered the hole with some one pence pieces well, basically you know tender coins if you're not from the uk you know you stick some coins in there 20 p's don't fit one p's and five p's anyway i did that and uh they turned into these it went <laughs> two five p's and a one p it went fucking straight through it went straight through the one p at uh, the five p into the second five p and just yeah it just fucking mullered them so we're keeping them for, you know, it's quite weak steel, is that? So what I did is, is I turned up a little puck, which has got a shoulder in it there, you can see. Master of fucking focus, you fucking wanker. So it's just a little puck, you know what I mean, like that. And this is, I can't remember, I think it's four mil thick. That fits in there like that, and that gives me a nice sturdy base um, to push on there. So now I can put this tool in, um, and then I can wind down this centre bit. So we've also got a dick around with rods. So I've got my trusty stoppy jobby that goes in the con rod. We wind it round to the right bit. Make sure we're not fucking completely mullering our chain and tightening it all up. Right. So let's give this a go. Turn that up at work today, and uh, so it's time to give it the balls and just hope that that's enough so it's a 19 mil we might as well get the breaker bar out of this if this bends that solid piece of steel well i don't think it will i think the um, the thread <laughs> on the tool will probably collapse about the same time actually so it's either coming off right now or she's not uh, let me just get the Sock it and I'll be right with you. 19 mil. Where's that fucking pry bar gone? I had it. Breaker bar. Pry bar. Who gives a shit? It's a bar. But there are people. Look. Fucking Nora. There are people who get a bit touchy sometimes. When it's in conversation about jabbering on about something else, I get it. When I'm at the whiteboard doing whatever. You know, I should try and endeavour to get every word right. For instance, the other day I did the Jixa 250, and everyone started going, You can't call it a Jixa, or where do you get that Americanism from? And then that dude in the advert, huh. oh, there it is, what in the advert, that's what they call it. So, and then someone said, No, that's ja ja that's the Americanism, that's not ja Japanese. And I found this advert. Um, so it says Jixa 250 in a Japanese magazine. Hey, Rod. Not that it matters. Oh, you feck. <laughs> uh, 
Usually it just lets you slip around a bit, but obviously fucking not. So, preload it with my hand. Preload it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, we're rubbing the wall with that fucking gusset rod. I think that's we're that far over. Uh, we're going to have to get the fucking knee in here. Ah, this is going to twist out. Yes, there was either something breaking or that was the pop. That was a mighty pop though. <laughs> Usually they don't pop with that much, uh, they don't need that much gusto. Right, <laughs> I hope that was that going. <laughs> yeah, thank <laughs> fuck for that. <laughs> and there's our little puck. <laughs> Fucking Nora. God. So on the back you can see all the sprags. We'll talk about that in a minute. Do you know what? That taper is clean as fook, uh, apart from the top. The very top has a bit of mushy mushy on it. Um, that's a lovely example of sprags. Oh, that fucking beauty. Put that away somewhere delicate next to that butane can that's on the floor. <laughs> Pick that up, you twat. Now you might, a lot of people go, oh you're so fucking clumsy, you fucking yeah. The camera tripod takes up so much room. That's my excuse, we're going with it. <laughs> but no, just in all seriousness it does. It takes up so much fucking room does that thing. So, crank. And then our, our little, our little puck, our little saviour. That is going in the fucking bloody box with the rest of them. Because that, well, probably I've never had that lamp before where it doesn't sit on it properly. But uh, oh yeah, she's a bit, <laughs> she's a bit seized. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's it's going to need some unwinding. That uh, this is a set of uh, shitty, cheapy Chinesey jobbies. These fuckers, because fucking Honda wanted fifty-eight quid just for this. I would have bought it as well if it was twenty quid. I would have fucking bought it, but because it just goes on the collection. So this is our, um, I can just, just, I need to keep that so I know what it, well, I know where it goes. It's the sender unit for the, what is it? Oh, it's the pressure sensor and also the neutral center, uh, sensor unit. Um, so what we've got here is this is the uh, drive gear for the, um, oh, electric starter. That's the one. Is that locked? Locked. Yes, it's locked. Right then. So yeah, this is the big, the big gear, the big gear, um, and this is an excellent example. I'll actually use this. I'll refer back to this when we start talking about rotational inertia. That is an ex. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, fucking hell! It's like dog hair or someone, some woman's hair. Um, yeah. So this is the uh, massive, massive speed reduction, but torque increase gear for the um, starter motor. So you've got start motor, pinion, uh, freewheeling pinion gear, little pinion gear there. And then we have this big fucker. This massively reduces the speed, but massively increases the torque. These motors have a bit, of, you know, they're quite torquey and they spin quite fast. And just say if it goes about 5,000, 6,000 RPM, you don't need 6,000 RPM, you need the fucking torque, and that's what this bad boy's for. This actual surface here, so this surface, massive big surface you can see, that's to do with the sprag clutch, that's basically where the sprags engage against, we'll go into all that, and so on. And then, oh, what is that? Mm. So we've got a, a needle roller bearing with a ooh with a fucking little sly little fucking spacer. Then oh, <laughs> that is strange. That is strange. Right, so. What we've got is our chain. We can get that in, out in a minute. Well, that's saying that's why we came in here. And that fucking spanner's fucking me off. 
We've got to clamp something that's not in there, and it's not in there because no one pulled this off to get that back off and then did such a good job of getting that back on. But we've got this thing here, that surface there is where it rides, so you can see that surface there and that surface there. Is there a sensor or something missing or something they were going to put into it, like a timing sensor, because that's what this is for? But that's on the other side. That spacer sits on there so she doesn't... It's almost like we've got a timing tooth jobby on the crankshaft. Hmm... That this will run close to? What the fuck is that? Oh, I do like a mystery. A mechanical mystery, right. That's, oh yeah, the one thing I was going to say, another thing you can get is a, uh, it's, I saw, I saw it, sorry, is a ball. Get yourself a ball bearing and then you can use that to push on. Not with an hammer, I mean with the tool. However, I just grabbed this out of the toolbox. Um, that ball is too big. You can see the size. You see the size, that fucking, you know, it's a big thread that goes in there. It's a big chamfer on the inside. But any road, yeah, so you can get, if you get a smaller ball that doesn't go down the fucking hole, but you know what I mean, just sits on there, you can push on that as well. Uh, it will help distribute the load properly. Right, where's my cutters? Uh, cutters. Let's just cut that spanner off that was holding this down, stopping it flap around. Straighten this chain out and then it should just come off. Yeah, oh, you fake it. Come on. It's a, such a dodgy angle that it wants to come out as. It wants to lift all as one, but you can't because it's obviously restrained. Come on. There we go. Fuck, you see what I mean? It's just a tiny... What is it? Right, so that's our front cylinder chain. So, fucking... <laughs> we'll fight with the chain's geometry later. Oh no, I'm going to do it now instead. Come on, you soft for fuck's sake. Do you know what? <laughs> Get out of my face. Right, yeah, so we've got like a, a ring on the crank. And these are actually machined into the crank. We've got the sprocket for the, what is it? It's almost like timing points. Where's my phone? Let me get a picture of that. It, almost, it looks like they were going to install something and then just didn't bother. Maybe there's a version... Um, maybe there's a version where the timing is taken from one side or the other depending on what model it is or how you want to go on about it. So you'll see there, there's two rings. I'll, I'll do a picture where I'll show what's where, as in which one's which. Yeah, strange. Probably just gives them options. So I don't need to pull that out. There's no fucking point. It's been machined. This is the thing. I can see it's been machined to accept all of that. Hmm. Right. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because we can do a simple test. I say a test. It's more of a lucky, a lucky loo. And we could have done this before with a flower loop on. But I need to split the cases anyway. Let me just move you into a better position. So, we're getting crowded with shit here, but so is the nature of the beast. Yeah. As the healing bench, as old Canadian Anne says. Um, so, I can't see what you can see. Apart from the rods knocking, and no, that's not going to fuck anything. Especially if you go smooth. Ow. <laughs> she feels great. So that's end play. So what you need to do is you need to measure that end play. Uh, where did I put? We can quickly do that. Um, it's something I want to leave for the my first engine rebuild series, but fuck it. Oh, 
Where are the pissing hell? I had them all out. We were doing a video yesterday. Oh, do you know what? Fuck it. Oh, no, there it is. Fucking... <laughs> so, you need somewhere to mount to, which really isn't that helpful because everything's fucking aluminium. Um... God, do you know what? That flywheel doesn't have to take a lot of fucking weight out of this thing. It really, really does. Uh, 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 yeah, we see we've got another one there. We have another one there. It has nothing underneath it. Can't remember the no, there was nothing underneath there. Bit silicone. Is that steel? That is steel. Oh, we're not gonna reach, are we? No, we're not gonna reach for this little did it. I was just hoping if we could get on something. There isn't enough of that to grab, is there? Well, I can sh No, there's no point in giving you a bad demonstration. Is there? Where's the other mag base? I have all these mag bases out because I was doing a video yesterday about it. Oops. Sayonara. The problem is, is this is a bigger bloody mag base. Can I get that? To see? see, that's the... <laughs> Motherfucker. You can never win. Oh. You're really meant to do something to the engine. You can get bases where you screw them in. I need something massive and steel. That start motor's not really. It's gonna, it's gonna undo itself. It's gonna switch itself off every time I try and. And we're not gonna reach that far, are we? Oh, it does stick. And we're not gonna reach, are we? For fuck's sake! Any roads. So basically, what you do, just to give you a quick demo, you can get yourself a get yourself a block of steel. Imagine that this is somehow bolted to the engine. Somehow. Oh, you get. Oh, it's a little one there. It's got the proper dial on it anyway. So imagine this is bolted to the engine somehow. And what you do. You, it's best if you pick a, a nice flat surface and you pick something that's absolutely parallel. Um, to the block. I thought it was the mag base that sticks, then it's all the fucking. Right then, so. You can see the problem. Hold on! Hold on! What's up with you? You alright? Look up, it said. Right then, so what we've got is we've got the mag base like this, and then we've got the crankshaft stuck in there. Like I say, the problem with this is this is why it has to be a, a, attached to the engine. I do have a plate somewhere that has a couple of bolt holes in it, fuck looking for it, big steel plate. You just basically brace it across somewhere. You can do you can do a few things. Get a parallel find some bolt holes that match up, put the parallel on it as long as it's stiff enough, blah, 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 blah. But what you're looking for, and obviously that this whole thing has to be sturdy, you know what I mean? Basically you go from a set position there and then you push it like that, right? Until you get the most thrust in you can. So just say this example is, is we're at 90 there. And we're sweeping across from 90. So we're going one, two, three, and a half, four. So we've got basically what increments are these? 400, 40 microns. That's what we've got. We've got 40 microns of end thrust, of end float. This thing is thrusting in and out. Blah 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 blah. Now let me just reiterate this <laughs> because there'll be some fucker who's not listening. Do not do this like this with this base. You can see we're all over the place. And as I thrust this, I might be moving the engine, and you don't get a good reading. It has to be attached to the engine, so basically part of, attach the block rigidly and then this has to be quite stiff and set up and then the probe has to come in perpendicular to some flat surface. Using the end of the bolt, so this has got, this will have a, it's actually quite flat, but it, some of them have a, a, con, you know, a concaved, um, convex surface or even a concaved one. 
you know really you want to take that bolt out and sit it against the actual crank basically you want to make everything square parallel perpendicular level flat proper blah and rigid as fuck then when you move in so if i do move this engine like i can do here you see it's rocking and rolling then the plate will move with the engine we'll go through that on my first engine rebuild where i'll basically actually spend more than 10 seconds actually setting up but it's just to give you an idea um is that a lot? Well, I don't trust this. You know what I mean? We've read 40, maybe nearly 50 microns on this. I don't fucking trust that number because my setup's all over the place. Fucking hell, I can get that just by doing that. You know what I mean? Or even pushing backwards and forwards, I can get it. Or just giving it a bit of this, I can get whatever. You get what I mean. It's very important that you're, when you're taking measurements, that you take into account any losses, any you know fake readings, any deviations, any your accuracy, your resolution, blah blah blah, blah your precision. We'll go more into accu accuracy, resolution and precision in another video. Any road. Now we've got both ends off, this means I can attack the casing and pop the fucker off, which will be in the next episode. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.